Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. The big news is a, oh, wait a minute. Yesterday was, oh, the daytime Emmys, which, okay, did anybody watch it on HLN? Okay, so part of it is the daytime Emmys have never been that big of a deal. And now they're on a, a cable channel, which happens to have it on the same day as Father's Day while everybody's out celebrating Father's Day. Oh, happy Father's Day, by the way. Anyway, um, we're going to bring old Kim on now with comments on the headlines of today. Lots more room. Now we don't know what to do with all this space. Oh, yeah, we got lots of room, folks. <laughs> and it's all over for the Republicans. Well, today the Supreme Court, I love this, laughable. They, they said the Voting Rights Act of 1993 says you are not permitted to ask certain questions. It does not say you cannot ask if a person is a citizen. It just says you're precluded from asking certain questions about race, sex, religion, all that stuff. Yeah. Citizenship is not listed, so therefore, when you when a state writes a law saying that you can ask that there actually be citizens, the Supreme Court ruled today, seven to two, that you cannot ask a person if he's a citizen. You have to depend upon that person not telling you a lie. What? Yeah, which means uh, what it was is they said... Wait a this, minute, so you could go get, let's say, Social Security benefits? Yeah. And not be a citizen? You can basically bring... Or health care. Uh, put, put it this, in the southern states, they can bring a million people across before elections on a, on a, on a national election, and you're not permitted, because now they have same-day registration, uh, they're not permitted to ask you anything. You no longer have to present identification to show... Did Ashley uh, got... I can't believe that actually Because through. they said that you have to depend upon the good will of the people. And then afterwards, if you find out that they weren't allowed to vote, then. But the problem is, they, they never they know don't have the time to go. Obama was not elected president the first time. They now know that that did not happen because he was not legally entitled to run for the office because they phonied up enough votes in one state that it prevented him from being registered to vote and register him as a candidate and therefore he won the election by what he had there and if he was not there they figured also he probably was not registered to legally be basically Hillary Clinton was screwed because of election fraud by uh, Obama's people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and Obama does not feel Americans privacy violated chief of staff the problem is is everybody I heard I saw the guy as well we don't track people's GPS on their cell phones. Um, okay, BF the Bull says, ring, ring, ring. Hey, McGee, can you tell me where this person is at the moment? And he just goes over to the cell phone company. Uh, yeah, boss, I think they're at Fifth and Vine right now, and they're moving towards Schwab's. Uh, that's how easy it is, because the phone company, your GPS on your cell phones and everything are turned on 24 hours a day. You do not take a movement without the cell phone company knowing where you're going. And by statute, that information has to be publicly available to law enforcement. They don't have to have a warrant. They just call them up and say, where are these people at? Mm -hmm. That's it, folks. And Supreme Court now says you no longer have to be a citizen to vote in an election. I know. Which is kind yeah. of what we were talking well, about. There's, but I like it. What they're talking about, though, is that they're not saying, we're not saying you, you, uh, that you don't have to be a citizen. They're saying that you have to, uh, when, they, when they swear on the document that they are citizens and have the right to vote, <laughs> you have to believe what they say. Is that like Monty swearing she has not eaten dinner? Oh, God, yeah. Monty, 10 minutes after he's eaten, will go, <laughs> <laughs> You can never trust Monty when it comes to food. <laughs> yeah. And Monty Russia, also drinks beer now, folks, so. Ooh. And Russia says it will not allow Syria no-fly zones. Yeah, and they're going to shoot our planes down, which is not going to make Obama happy with all. Obama wanted, he, he you know, John McCain wanted a no-fly zone because the Russians wouldn't dare. Well, the Russians are going to dare because if we're going to send our planes into their airspaces, which is what they consider it to be because they support Syria, they're going to send their planes into, into their airspace. airspace and they're going to shoot everything down. And they're going to say, well, we can, you know, when our planes are lit up, we can fire missiles into them. Well, not before the ground area, not because they're talking about giving them the best missile system. They'll fire first. Mm -hmm. Before our planes can hit their areas, they will fire and say, okay, we knock out a two or three million dollar missile in place, we're going to lose a hundred and fifty million dollar plane. That's a real good trade off, folks. Mm -hmm. And if, as soon as we start getting pilots killed, uh, this government, I mean, first of all, 
they know it's a tribal thing. The, um, the, it's one Sunnis versus the other group. And uh, the Sunnis are back, I think, backing Syria, and the others are against Syria. And it's a god awful civil war they're getting ready to have, and the United States is precipitating it. Oh, that's well, because right. uh, Obama's not a Sunni, folks. Oh, and Obama's job approval tumbles, and America's split on spying. Well, what's the split about? It's like. They're not split. Okay, here's how it works. If you're my age, you think it's a good idea. If you're not a spring chick's age, you don't want people, uh, as, let's put it this way, I heard it again last night, <laughs> Yeah, um, uh, a news reporter talk, really giving a Republican a bad time, he said, my daughter said, F you. He said, I don't want my parents to know what I'm doing, and the whole government will know where I'm at. And mm -hmm. she said, well, you know, I wish my mother was not happy about it. I said, when I'm jumping somebody, I don't want the government knowing about it. Mm -hmm. And she, she said, when she said that, uh, yeah, that was not a good thing because she thought her daughter was a nice little girl, and she said the words on, I'm jumping somebody. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I had a G8 A-list actors urge Obama to push for a world without nuclear weapons. Well, Obama would basically disarm us in 10 seconds if he could get away with it. But he's got, he is hanging on by a thread because the Republicans in the House and Senate are basically, okay, th th this, uh, this was from Mark Twain. They said, uh, Mark Twain about boxing. He said, when you have a man on the canvas, kick him. <laughs> I know. I love Mark Twain. When you have a man on the, on the canvas, kick him. So, and Republicans are basically supporting, the, keeping this guy in office. When he's basically, they got him on the run. The Democrats want to remove him. And it, because they are hung up on his program that is out of control, what it is, too, you have to remember. The Republicans that support it are in their 60s and 70s and 80s. The ones that don't like it are younger than that. Hmm. And George H. Bush, it doesn't think we've had enough Bushes in the White House. Uh, that's, that's his, uh, that's his, uh, Jeb's son is building, a, he's getting all the political capital he needs in Texas to run for the White House. Remember, Jeb's son looks like a, mat, a Latin matinee idol. His mother is Spanish and he speaks fluent. Spanish. Oh. Yeah, and he gets along well with the Spanish community, really well, because mommy was a teacher. Does he have a Spanish wife? Uh, also, I think a Spanish wife. Oh. He's everything about him Spanish. He looks like a matinee idol. Ah. Yeah, young and basically, guess what? He will be in the two uh, in the two twenty election. He'll be old enough to run for president. The Ooh. youngest running ever. He's getting ready. He's getting ready. Alex Rodriguez and others face suspension for doping. Yeah, they think as early as next week. They want him gone before the All-Star game, which is, here's the problem is that they're, they're trying to claim that a, a, a baseball player with the Oakland Athletics who basically had a good shot of 20 games this year, it basically somehow defeated the system. They're also pointing out the fact he doesn't have a great fastball. He doesn't, he, he, uh, he, he basically, doesn't have great command of anything. What it is, is they said what happens sometimes, uh, when you were good to begin with, he's reverting back to what made him a star when he was a young person, which is he's, uh, he's, he sneaks his fastball by people. He's got a curveball. He's got all these little finesse things that kept him in business until he decided he wanted to make $10 million a year and started taking drugs. Mm -hmm. And the drugs he's taking are not illegal anymore because the, the PGA has basically said deer antler stuff is not illegal as far as they're concerned. And Russia's Syria diplomacy, a game of smoke and mirrors. Yeah, well diplomacy is, they told the United States to F off because uh, uh, this is a civil war between two religious groups in a country and you're basically trying to support Al-Qaeda becoming a, a main figure. See, they have problems with these people in, in Chesnia. And Obama wants to support the people that are causing the problems in Chesnia, which means they're going to tell Obama basically to take a flying leap this week. And North Korea proposes talks with the South on commercial projects. Well, yeah. What happens is anytime you do something with North Korea, North Korea takes the takes the lets you put your money into it and then kicks your butt out. Mm -hmm. So and that's not a smart thing to do. And Syrian rebels lose strategic town and boost for Assad. Uh, yeah, that, and that's the whole thing. Okay, the, uh, Assad basically controls the country, which is why they're in, well, we've got to have a no-fly zone to prevent him from, uh, and then the United States, well, we're going to give him small arms. Well, since the other guys are getting heavy-duty stuff from the Soviet Union and China and, and from Iran, you're screwed, folks.
And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh, and, and this is another one from Mark Twain. There's only one fool bigger than a politician, and that's the person that elected him to office. <laughs>